My topic this morning says Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. Did you believe that? Now, the season of Christmas, the reason why we adopted and say we celebrated is because it has to do with the name of who? Jesus Christ. But I must have to state this to us. That with the Bible we have searched, we've not been able to discover that actually that Jesus was born on 25th of December. Is that clear to us? So with the little fact, we do not think that Jesus was born in December. But why do we say Merry Christmas to people? A lot of people have condemned the foundation how this celebration of Christmas began, which some of the things they've said are true. Some might be added fallacy in terms of sweet tongue and preaching. But what I just want to let you know is that with all our research, we do not think that Jesus was born on 25th. But there is one thing that makes us to join people to say Merry Christmas. And that thing is that Jesus is worthy to be celebrated. Is that correct? If he is worthy, I want you to celebrate him with your shout, with your clapping of him. Celebrate him. Now, I, I, I want us to discuss one little something. Because people have actually gone out of the way and they no longer celebrate Christmas. When you want to celebrate anything that has to do with Christ, before you put the mass, you should understand that whatsoever we must do in the time we are celebrating Christ must have to be number one, emulating who Christ is and trying to live like Christ like. But a lot of things has made us to begin to have a little fear about the kind of Christmas that is being celebrated today. But before I proceed, did Jesus, before he came, there was a lot of revelations that a man was to be born. If you see where we read in uh, Isaiah this morning, our Bible reading, okay, take me Isaiah 9 verse 6. You take me again Isaiah 7 14, Isaiah 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born. He said, unto us a child is born. Is born unto us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. The government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called wonderful. His name shall be called wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. Mighty God. The everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Take me to Isaiah. I just want to be fast this morning. Take me to Isaiah chapter 7, 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. He said, the Lord shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. He said, behold, a virgin is a prophecy, shall conceive. And bear a son. And bear a son. And shall call his name And shall Emmanuel. call his name Emmanuel. Take me to Luke chapter 1, 26 to 35. Look, chapter Luke 1, 26 to 35. Yes. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth uh -huh. to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. The Lord said Gabriel to a virgin of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the virgin's name was who? Mary. Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. He said, Mary, the angel said to him, Thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed art thou among women. 
And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, mm. and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Can I prophesy to you, in this season of celebration, there shall be a salutation of favor from God unto your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And when she saw him, and the angel said unto her, mm -hmm. Fear not, Mary, mm. for thou hast found favor with God. Mm. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, mm -hmm. and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Mm -hmm. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. Uh -huh. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Mm. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Mm. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mm. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Mm. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. And the thee. power of God shall overshadow thee. God. Therefore also that that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall mm. be called the son of God. It shall be called the son of God. Now hold it there. Now before Jesus was born, there were several revelations that he was coming. He didn't just come. It was foretold. That a son shall be born. His name shall be called the man and God with us. His name shall be called Jesus. His name shall be called powerful, wonderful, the son of God. And everything, every title to describe him for you to understand who was coming from. Now, the only thing we could not discover was that the day he was born was on 25th of December. But we accepted and adopted it because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy to receive all the praises. He is worthy to be celebrated. Because of things he has done for us and the things he has to do more. And for that purpose, that's why we can boldly say happy Christmas to everyone. And I know the Lord will do something in this season for you in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you as you travel to celebrate this Christmas. First of all, what comes into your head is, what is the reason for the season? Why is everybody traveling? Why is everybody want to go and buy a bag of rice? Why does everybody want to cook? Why does everybody want to kick cow, goat, chicken? Why would everybody want to do something on that 25th? Why would the little children say, Mommy, change us a new cloth? Then you will understand that the reason for all those things and the reason for this season is who? Is who? Jesus Christ. Now, for you to understand this, if the reason for the season is Jesus Christ so simple then for you to celebrate it you're going to celebrate him like him do you know that this season is the season that a lot of people has gone out of the way of celebrating Christ and began to celebrate evil they began to celebrate devil this is the time you see young men having opportunity impregnating young girls at the at January resort we show that this is the time you will see a lot of people when they get back to their village, they now go and follow some of their uncles, go to the shrine, begin to worship another God beside the God that is being celebrated. If you don't know, know it now, what is being celebrated is God. Amen? Is that correct? Are we celebrating God? We are just saying happy birthday to you. That's what you're doing. Now, in as much as he was not born on that day but we can just celebrate him because he's worthy of celebration now understand this this celebration you must have to emulate him you must have to celebrate it in the word of god it was foretold that he was coming so for you to understand who he is you must have to celebrate him in the word of god you have to celebrate him in holiness you have to celebrate him as a child of god you do not need to go home and begin to be a young man the little money you have when you talk then other guys will come. Oh boy, ah, I hear say you day Lagos. I hear say you day America. You know what you come with. You know that kind of thing. You began to share the little you have. Instead of you even to preach to them about the man that is being celebrated. The next thing is, oh boy, more go drink now. What do you want? Uh, barman, give them two bottles. They will give you. Give them three bottles. They will give you. 
Now, a lot of people have seen Christmas as a time of killing to make money, a time to defraud people, a time to lie to people, a time to live a fornicating life, a time to do things that are not presentable in the sight of God, a time to do things that are so much rough. Let me tell you, the reason for the season is Jesus. When you now live those kind of life in this season, are you celebrating the reason why we are here? Church, I'm asking you. The reason we are here is Christ. The reason why we say Christmas is because we want to say happy birthday to you. Now, for you to say happy birthday, then you go home, you begin to look for your former girlfriend, you begin to do some certain things, you, took, you take your friends to the bar, you begin to drink, drink, before you know it, you began to fall on the road. You began to fall in the street. You began to do some unprecedented things you, you, is, that is uh, imaginable. Let me say something to you. More you do all those things, more you see yourself traveling in sin, in poverty, preparing your way to hell. Only way you can celebrate Christ and Christ will be happy with you is to do one thing. What was that most thing that God did for us? What he did for us was to show us what? Show us what? Love. By doing what? Giving out his only begotten that whosoever believeth in him shall not do what? But have what? Now, the purpose of Christmas is what? Love. Show love. Show love. Okay, look at the little love we showed our children during our program. When I look at people's comments on my profiles, I only saw that we bought school bags, give children, you know, show love. I see people, a lot of people are praying for us. Amen. Hallelujah, church. So it's your responsibility. Go to motherless babies, go to uh, the poor, bless them, cook food, share. See, in a Christmas day, if only you is eating the rice you cook in your house, there's a problem. I don't know if I'm saying something. I said there is what? If you go to my house on Christmas, in this Christmas, uh, uh, you will change my name to Father Christmas. It's not that somebody is too rich, but you must have to do what you're supposed to do. Show love. People will come and eat, feel happy, rejoice with you, celebrate with you, dance with you. Show love. Tell them how much you love them. Open your hand. Don't be too stingy. Go and give somebody a gift. Buy a gift for your husband. Buy a gift for your wife. Buy for your children. If God bless you, buy for your neighbors. Don't be over stingy this period. The period of celebration of Christmas is a time of giving. A time of love. Love somebody. Do something for somebody. Do something for somebody. The way Christmas is supposed to be celebrated is to show us love. How the way the Lord show us love? By giving us his only begotten what? So that whosoever believeth in him shall not do what? But have what? How many people did you remember? Your mother is in the village. Did you remember her? Your father is in the village. Did you remember her? Your uncle is there. Your auntie is there. Your children is there. Your neighbor's children are not even going to school. What did you do? How many people did you do what? Remember. How many people did you bless? In your church. Somebody that always sits by your side, you know he doesn't have much. How much did you give? Did you even give one cup of rice? Ordinary one paint is if you if you give somebody one paint of rice now, he can cook it for at least twice or three times. No be so. Eh? Show them love. Bless somebody. Who did you bless? Who did you bless? Who did you bless? Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm, I'm a practical example of celebrating Christmas. On Christmas, even if there's no food in my house, we always try to give. If I give you the list of what I've given 
this Christmas, you will shake your head. I'm not too rich. Christmas is all about celebration. Christmas is all about love. Christmas is all about dying, eating with one another. Christmas is not all about going to commit sins in the name of Christmas. May God have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. I can't hear you. Say a better amen. So, let's celebrate Christmas with one another by showing what? Love. Showing what? That is what Christmas is all about. Show love. Show love. Show love. Show love. When you show love, when you show love, it, 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 it helps. It blesses. When you show love, it's, it's, it makes you smile. And let me tell you, when, when you show love, it, it turns things when you are a giver. Just relax. You will never do what? I don't know if I'm here. You will never do what? So, show love. Be a giver. Be what? A giver. Just try something. Just try to do something. Sometimes it, 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 it could be tough. That's very correct. Sometimes you begin to do some kind of calculation. Let me tell you. Sometimes you might be doing it. You won't know that God is equally preparing something for you somewhere for something to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And let me say something to you. Before you know it, you begin to see other many things you need to see. And the Lord will be marvelous to you. So please. I will ask you to do what? Give. Somebody say give. Hallelujah. Somebody give. Say give. I didn't say you should not use the major money of your business. Keep your money business intact. So January will, will tell. Anybody traveling for Christmas and what you have is 100,000 or 200, you can't use the 200. <laughs> hey. When we start, you know, we are going to do six to six in january is that correct for 21 days when others are praying god position me in 2019 you'll be praying god give me money to eat by tomorrow now you cost your heart sometimes we don't know so but that's me as i want to travel forget i don't prepare january be somebody who is a good planner in as much as you're going to celebrate so celebrating of Christmas is all about what? Given, showing what? Go and show to your papa and mama at home, your brothers and sisters, motherless will be some. If you want to show me, you know, it's going to be a blessing to you. So, but prepare to do what? Show what? And God shall bless you in Jesus' name.